Hey there, friends. Jeff Fritz here, and I've got another 10-minute tip as I continue to explore Python. And this time, I, I would be a little remiss if I didn't go through and talk about using Python with Visual Studio. And you know what? To make sure that this video lasts, let's dive right in. Let's get right into the latest and greatest, and let's try this with Visual Studio 2019 Preview 2. All right, let's take a look and see what we can do to configure Python for use with Visual Studio. And then let's turn on our Intel distribution and see how that can be accomplished. And we can use all of those extended features as well. All right, so let's take a look a little bit at this installer. I've already got Visual Studio 2019 installed, but I'm going to click Modify so we can see what features are there, what features are available that we can light up and turn on. And it doesn't get any easier than this, friends. Look at this workloads there's windows and in the second group web and cloud python development just check that to turn it on and then over here on the right we can turn on and off various distributions other tools that we can include so that we can get things connected to azure or maybe use visual studio live share if that's something that you'd like to use with python i can configure it even further after this gets installed by going into Visual Studio and tuning the Python interpreter and settings over there. Let's take a look at that. So here I am in Visual Studio and I've already opened up and told it that I want to open a folder so I can work with Python. And you can look in my Solution Explorer. I've actually opened my C Python folder that has a couple of scripts and files and even my Jupyter Notebook that I've been working on. I now have a Python environments window that I can open. You can find this if you go to control Q and type Python environments and you'll see it pops up right here. It's also available under view, other windows, and there's my Python interactive window and Python environments. We'll get to the interactive window in a minute. Inside here, it comes with by default, the Python software foundations, Python 3.7 distribution. That's nice. That's a good distribution. But I also want to be able to use my Intel distribution that I'm so fond of right now. So how do we do that? How do we add an additional environment? Well, I mean, come on. Right here, it says an add environment. So click there. And I want to add an existing environment. I already have this installed on disk. Go find it, Visual Studio, and let's use that environment. So I know that it's located in my C... Intel Python folder. Select that and Visual Studio goes and finds out everything about it and configures the environment for me. That's pretty good. Click add and we're up and running. Our distribution is here and ready for us to use. So if I go back over to my solution explorer, I can open some of these other files that we've written and I can run them just by clicking the run button up here. And there it is. It finished running. It gives me my time elapsed for this script. Okay, and I'm back into Visual Studio. What if I want to run the interactive window? I want to run IPython and interact directly with my interpreter. Well, I can go back into the Python environments window here, and I can actually click this icon over here, and it opens a dedicated window down here that I can use to work directly with IPython. And I can continue on here doing all the interactions that I may want to do right here inside my window. And it knows how to interact and use the Intel distribution and not the other distribution. I can change those right here as well and flip flop back and forth between all of the Python configuration that I may have set up on my machine and want to use with Visual Studio. This is great, and I've also got a debugger in here as well if I want to be able to stop and debug any of these scripts when I need to. I can set breakpoints right here, and I can stop at that as it starts running inside Visual Studio. There you go at the breakpoint. All right, this is great. This means that I can use Visual Studio 2019, which has all those great interactive features that I like to use in that integrated development environment, that IDE that is so good for me for managing my projects 
all of my files, great IntelliSense, excellent for me to use, and I can use it with my favorite Python distributions whenever I want. And going forward, it looks like they're doing so much more to help us as Python developers be productive with Visual Studio. Thanks so much. This has been another one of Fritz's 10-Minute Tips.